ready for another weekend of baking? I'm going to bake the most biggest chocolatey chocolate cake anyone has ever seen. Of course, Esme, but please stick to the instructions this time. <sighs> Uh. Are 
Okay, Timothy, I'm going to sneak into Olivia's room and pour this cauldron of slime over her head. Sound good? Well, I better get going. These princesses won't prank themselves. <gasps> Where's my crown? You haven't hidden it again, have you, Timothy? Hmm, I can't go out without my hat. I'm half as terrifying without it. Well, I'll just have to make one myself. crown after find a new crown instead princess to visit and then Steve the sheep pulled out his magical wand and cast a spell on the evil witch Isabella I was going to give it back I promise Recognize me? Um, no. 
Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure I'd remember meeting a talking sock. Ha! Let me take you back to a time long, long ago. Esme, I'm back! moment. It's like a lifetime down here. Hang on. How did you learn to talk? Can't you tell? This place is magical. Uh, if only I could magically find my diary. You mean this diary? Not so fast, Esme. You can have your diary back. But I want something in return first. Okay, anything. What do you want? A companion. It gets pretty lonely down here. Socks were made to be in pairs, you see, and I am alone. Aw, that would be so cute. If only you wear a horrible old stinky sock. I'm glad that you recognise my stinkiness. And for that reason, young Esme, you must find me a sock friend so stinky. So unbelievably smelly. Honging so... Okay, okay. I get the point. You want a smelly sock. And I think I know just the foot to get it from. You're back. Did you find what I requested? I did! Bring it to me! And now? Yes, yes, your diary. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Likewise, thanks! Wait, do you have any? No, I'm a sock. Right. Coin! 